Look out, the mutants are coming to the Florida Keys. Mutant mosquitoes, millions of them. At least that's the plan being considered by federal health officials to head off two deadly mosquito-borne diseases. A British company hopes to prove its genetically modified insects can kill off most of the mosquito population on the island of Key Haven. But there's resistance. More than 145,000 people have signed a petition to stop the test. Joining us from Los Angeles is Dr. Christy Wilcox, a molecular biologist who writes the Science Sushi blog for Discover Magazine. Dr. Wilcox, good morning. Good morning. How you doing? <laughs> okay. Can, first, can you tell us what they're planning to do here? So the plan is that OxyTech has designed these genetically modified mosquitoes, which are autocidal, which is just basically fancy words for they kill themselves. And the way it works is they release a bunch of males. The males go out there and find some lovely ladies to spend some time with. <laughs> and then all of the offspring that they produce die at the larval stages. So they don't get to become adults. And ideally, if you can release enough males so that you have every single female out there with one of these genetically modified males, then you'd kill off the entire population in one go. This idea has already been tested in the Cayman Islands, but it seems like there's been a huge backlash. What do you think it is about the idea that people are having such a hard time accepting? I, I think anytime people hear GMO or genetically modified, they, they kind of get a little bit of scared. Um, we've got a lot of fear based on genetically modified crops here, but these mosquitoes are really, really different than any of the crops out there. And it's, it's the same technology essentially, but it's being applied in a very different manner. How effective was this when it was used before, Dr. Wilcox? So in the Cayman Islands and in Brazil, it was anywhere from 80 to 96 percent of the mosquitoes that they're trying to kill were gone. You know, there are no vaccines for the two diseases that we mentioned, dengue and chikungunya. And the reality is that as we are becoming more globalized, these are real threats to us. So what, what is the alternative? If they don't go along this route of uh, creating this genetically modified mosquito, what can they do? Well, they can do what they're doing now, which is they're using pesticides and source control to try to lower populations of mosquitoes. But that's only working. It's about 50% of the population is suppressed. So you still have a lot of mosquitoes out there that we don't want. Other than that, there's a lot of sort of other new technologies that are trying to fight the same problem. But at the moment, a lot of them are still in the experimental stages, just like these GM mosquitoes. As we mentioned, there are 145,000 signatures on this petition against this. But I mean, do you see any kind of drawback or negative effect from releasing these mosquitoes? Honestly, at the moment, no. I mean, the way that this works, um, it's just a field test. And, and the real drawback would be if it doesn't work. <laughs> So this is the test to find out if it works. And then once we know whether or not it works or how well it's going to work, then we can talk about whether or not we're going to scale this up to really cover all of Florida. And as you mentioned in your research, just quickly, there really is no ripple effect on the environment. Is that true? Absolutely not. Not with these guys. So the particular species they're targeting, Aedes aegypti, is invasive in Florida to begin with. And it only makes up 1% of the mosquitoes in the Key West area. So we're talking about no real effects on anything that would eat mosquitoes. And we're getting rid of something that shouldn't be there anyway. So right. maybe some of the native species would have a chance to bounce back. It's just the name, mutant mosquitoes. It just sounds scary. <laughs> Dr. Christy Wilcox in Los Angeles this morning. Thank you so much.